right, so we're rolling. Just kind of look over me, pretend the camera doesn't exist. For the first thing I need is just your name and how you spell it. All I right. can hang on to that, okay. actually. Make your life a little bit easier. My name is Daniel Meadows, and you spell it D-A-N-I-E-L-M-E-A-D-O-W-S. Awesome, and you were involved in that um, hunting incident I last was. week. Okay, awesome. Take me through, tell me what happened. Okay, I've been trying to spend some time with uh, Lord Will and I plan on getting married in the near future. So I've been trying to spend some time with my younger siblings. So I took my younger brother, which is seven, his name's Abel, and we've been doing some hunting. And uh, we was getting ready to leave and I decided to make one more stop. So we stop and we walk in the woods and it starts raining and we ain't hearing nothing. And he, de he decided, he looked at me and goes, let's go one of them pine trees and we maybe we can stay dry. So we go and sit down, and I start calling, and I hear another turkey. Well, you only allowed a gobbler. So it was a hen yelping, and I thought to myself, well, sometimes gobblers might be with it. So I look at him, I said, let's just sit here a minute and see what happens. And I said, if a gobbler ain't, I'll call a hen in so you can see it. Well, we're sitting there, and I look down the hill, and I thought I seen a little bit of movement, but I wasn't sure. And I told him, I said, if somebody's here, I'm gonna let them know what's going on, you know. And about that time, the gun goes off. And I just immediately, I yelled, and the guy jumps up and he had realized he made a mistake, which accidents happen, and I'm not one bit upset at that guy. Um, I pick my brother up, take off running, and as we're running, he's asking me, am I gonna die? I'm like, I don't know. I said, but I'm gonna try to get you out of here. And he looks at me and he goes, will you pray with me? And I said, Yes, and so I'm running. I had a long ways to run, probably 300 yards, before I got to a full wheeler. So I start praying with him, and he looks at me, and he goes, I'm going home. And he totally stopped breathing in my arms. And at that point in time, I was scared, but I knew God was with me. And um, I looked at him, I jolted him a little bit, I said, Abel, stay with me. And he takes a deep breath, and then I started talking to him, and I'm like, try to maintain a steady, steady breathe. So I get him to the four-wheeler. Once we get the four-wheeler, by then he was he was talking to me and he's like, let me drive, let me drive, let me drive. I said, no way, you're not driving after you've been shot. So I get him out and a good friend of mine met me with a car and we drove out the road and met the ambulance. They life flighted him. So I went back with the police, and well, the DNR officer, but then went back, showed them everything that happened. And through all this, People start asking me, why ain't you mad at this guy that done it? Well, back a couple years ago, I asked the Lord to take something out of my heart. I wanted a love like God had for us. And he did. And I never one time felt mad at that guy. I just wanted to go back and give him a hug and say, I know accidents happen. You did not mean to. I love you. And I was able to. And people say, how can you do that? Well, the only way I can tell you how to do that is to accept God into your life and turn your whole life to Him. And He will give you joy and love like that. He promised He'd never put on us more than we could bear. And he also promised He'd never leave us nor forsake us. And I held on to them two things through all this, and I've made it through it. That's and incredible. good Lord willing, my brother should be coming home before the, too long. That's and he cool. seems to be doing great, and I am fine. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad y'all both made it out of that alive. Yeah. You know, now moving forward, you know, after it's kind of happened kind of thing, has that shaped, you know, any differences now when you do go out hunting? Are you going to be more um, careful? Are you more cautious? When, I, that? when I go, I, it makes me a little nervous, but I love hunting. And my, my recommendation, if you go into a woods, in the woods and you're turkey hunting, first of all, if you have any inkling of anybody being around, Make yourself known that you're a person, and be 110 percent sure of your target. Definitely. And are y'all pressing any charges or anything? We are not. Wow. That's we are amazing. not pressing no charges. Wow. I do not hate the guy one bit. I mean, we take, we take, well, we do maple syrup. We take him jars of maple syrup. I guess see him very often, almost well, every other day, if not every day, and talk to him. And we actually got a good relationship. So. That's actually, yeah. that's incredible. My goodness. And uh, anything else you want to share? Mm, not that I can think of. Awesome. All right. Next question I have is.